frail praises from the Astral Express. <laughs> Welcome to the Dreamscape Sad Story. A long time no see, Dive. I've already made the necessary preparations. Be careful. We did pass the safety inspection stipulated by Article 027, Damage Ferris, and Article 076, Healing. However, this strange game will feature unfiltered and unpolished fresh memory. You will make for a very vivid veteran game. Call right? this type of dream a thrill dream. I don't know if you're into that kind of thing. If you feel any discomfort, please leave the dreamscape immediately and seek professional medical help. Luckily, I just so happen to be an excellent doctor. Albeit a psychiatric one. <laughs> Let us begin. Oh, yes. I nearly forgot. The nature of this memory is special. Don't ruin the dreamscape experience for anyone else by spoiling the ending. In my estimation, there is no question about it. This is murder. Murder. Such a foreign word to us. The people of Penacone could never come to any harm while under the watchful protection. In a dream, even if you're bashed a thousand times with a hammer. At worst, you'll still wake up in reality in a hotel. Not necessarily. Even if the result does not constitute harm, the criminal intent is clear enough. You specifically came here to cordon off the scene because of the unsavory nature of this case. You're not wrong. Even if there are no casualties, being smashed over the head with a hammer in the middle of the street for no reason at all? This is not the kind of thing that happened. You are guests of the Oak family, so you may investigate the crime scene. I'll be on standby over here. Are you a witch? Just how did you manage to convince them in the blink of an eye that we're some kind of detectives? Just some suggestions at the memory level. If something happens in everybody's memory, then that something becomes a fact. Rather than hearing endless explanations, would you like to experience it for yourself? No, no, no! Y hey, you can save that for the enemy. Then, on to the next order of business. Let's discuss your companion, shall we? Memo Keeper of the Garden of Recollection. I've been watching you for quite some time. You stole a glance at me when you first entered the hotel. You followed me wherever I went inside the dreamscape. In the windows along the commercial street, in the pond water reflections of the Ideal Park, even in the reflections of the wine glass. Everywhere. My dear, do you have a crush on me? Well then, seeing as you're so interested in me, let's play a little game. I left a puzzle for you near OT Mall. Solve it and prove that you're capable of pleasing me. If you can still leave me waiting, my dear, before Penacone gets flipped upside down, try to find me. There's actually more than one memo keeper who's come to Penacone. She's mixed me up with someone else. But no harm, no foul. The address that the mask gave you is right here. But you never would have thought. That when Miss Sparkle mentioned a game, she was talking about wanton slaughter on the street. Such a direct act of provocation is enough to get my competitive side worked up, too. Madam, forgive me. I had no idea about anything she said. As you saw, 
I went through a brain scan. I'm just a friend, helping her deliver a letter. That's all. I never knew this was actually... <laughs> what a frightened look you have. Don't worry. Since this has nothing to do with you, I won't be suspecting you of anything. Why don't you come take a stroll? Oh, seems like I can't escape being an assistant detective. Oh, fine. It's all fine. If there's anything you'd like to know, please ask. Who was the victim? An IPC employee named Shamari. Eyewitnesses reported that a tall, strong man wearing a large rope with long sleeves walked from- Shamari collapsed on the spot and woke up from the dream. The murderer vanished in a- Ooh, that sounds just like Sparkle. Her best asset is transforming her appearance to look like someone else. Who are those two, little guy? Seems like the assailants stole the troop from elsewhere and deliberately placed them here. What nerve. They don't even have the slightest consideration for public or those two have clammed up. I wonder if you'd- Looks like a puzzle that Sparkle is- Where's Mr. Shamari right- I'm afraid you can't. The Oaks came forward and calmed him down. Mr. Shamari expressed that he understands the unpredictable nature of dreams, and went on to vacation in another dreamscape. Best not to bother him. Guest experiences always have to come first. Oh, I'm afraid by the time we find him, Half of Penicone will have been sent back to reality by Sparkle. Looks like we'll have to play this little game of Sparkles then. Lady Black Swan, you're here! I'm the constable, and this here assisting me as the bailiff for this- Mr. Coldfeet, why'd you do it? So they can talk after all, Miss Black Swan. They're heading straight for- Don't interrupt, I wasn't talking to you. And I understand Lady Black Swan has quite the intellect. The Sparkle murder case? Wasn't the victim Shamari? You're wrong, Lady Black Swan. The victim is evidently none other than the matriarch of the Goldhammer family, Miss Sparkle Goldham. Oh, I guess Miss Sparkle has written herself into the skit here. And this has nothing to do with the actual case. Goldhammer is- Never heard of it. Sounds made up. Sparkle doesn't sound like a real name either. Miss Sparkle was supposed to receive three valiant warriors at the Goldhammer residence today. Miss Sparkle had been smashed over the head by a hammer and died on the spot. Such a brutal act of- My investigations discovered that the three warriors were supposed to escort supplies back to their territory the day they narrowly escaped and barely got away- So the three of them teamed up to kill her. <gasps> Is the case closed? No, there can only be one murderer. It's not an unsolved mystery if there were three murderers. Hang on, wait. <clears throat> Uh, if you can't justify it, don't bother. Got it! Those three were all vying against each other to be number two. They couldn't have cooperated on anything. So it must have been one of them at... Mm, that actually doesn't make much sense. Even if they were on bad terms, those three... Please begin your investigation, Lady Black Swan. There are lots of clues at the crime scene that are sure to help you apprehend the real culprit. I've got the case file right here. If you want to learn more about the suspects, talk to me. Lady Black Swan, allow me to introduce the three suspects to you. Lefton, Shongshan, and Wright. Lefton is one of Miss Sparkle's chief lieutenants, whose right hand was unfortunately severed while he was valiantly fighting off the Annihilation Gang. He's now learning how to write and hold a fork with his left hand. Then there's Zhongshan. This guy's a coward who ran away as soon as a group spotted some bandits along the road. He last of all comes right. This guy- Hang on, I'm confused. What? Where did you get that idea from? Do you need me to go over it all again? That won't be necessary. I've memorized every detail. No wonder you're a memo keeper.
Look, an ID card. Uh, talent motivation department. Mr. Shamari's belongings should have disappeared alongside... is super heavy ah, this must be the murder weapon miss sparkle also used it to attack mr shamari i'm barely able to lift this using both hands i have no idea how sparkle could ever is that all the evidence <clears throat> oh you scared me when did you pop? The two pieces of evidence that you found are related to the attack on Shamari. Miss Sparkle didn't leave them lying around for no reason. They're clues to the puzzle, but... There are still some other clues that were placed in other areas. So they won't spoil... Isn't that a bit... No, no. It's disruptive to have... Seems quite nice of her. Hmm. Looks like Miss Sparkle is adding a little spice to the investigation. Hmm. What's this little device here for? Could you please let me know? Look. Don't push it, Lady Blackstone. Or right, that's the mutually assured destruction button that Miss Sparkle installed. Once pushed, Miss Sparkle also has her own button. The second she... That sounds like... Both buttons can do the... Correct. Exactly. Uh. Oh. Aren't you going to ask me? Okay. Because... This is nuts. Notice. Seems like a hint for us from Miss Sparkle. That sounded like a story from ancient. This is so her style. What's this? A plush toy? Regardless of why it's designed to look like the conductor aboard the Astral Express. Have you ever heard of something called a red herring in detective store? I see. Well, when it's so obvious, doesn't that defeat the per- that, That's just in case you didn't realize the ingenuity of Miss Buckle and were worried about her throwing out a- <laughs> I see. Thank you for your keen insight. Then. Let's pretend we were misled by a... Uh, you don't have to play along that hard, you know. Doesn't look like there are any more clues. Let's head back.
Next, should we pin down the identity of the perpetrator? This evidence, I've been staring at it all day, but there's nothing that can identify the perp. Lefton, that guy lost his hand. Remember Zhang Shan's face was disfigured after the incident at the cliff? Right? I remember this one best. Wright has a broken leg. Why don't we flip the question and start by asking who couldn't be the murderer? After all, there are only three suspects, so elimination could be a valid method. If you put it like that, then do you already have someone in mind? Tell me, come on. So, who exactly is- I remember this one best. So, who exactly- Left in that- Based on the bailiff's statement, Lefton's dominant hand was seriously injured to the point where he had to learn how to live using only his left hand. Swinging that giant sledgehammer to murder someone. Lefton's suspicion level can be downgraded. So, who remember Zhang Shan's face was dis. So, who ex I remember this one best. Oh, is that so? I... Oh, is that so? Oh, is that so? Oh, is that so? Oh, is that so? So, remember Zhang Shan? Oh, is that so? Poor guy. He was seriously injured and was all wrapped up in bandages to keep his good looks safe. If that's the case, then he couldn't have made it through the Goldhammer Residence's facial recognition system. That would suggest that Zhongshan is not the murderer. By process of elimination, it seems that only Wright could be the murderer. That was easy. Let's tell the constable our answer and see what he thinks. Please begin your investigation. The murderer is right. <sighs> you have answered correctly. As expected, you didn't disappoint, Lady Black Swan. Game rules stipulate I must tell you where the next puzzle is. Huh? The next puzzle? I didn't sign up for this. Looks like the key to winning lies not in the puzzle itself, but in the motives behind Miss Sparkle's strange behavior. I'm afraid this chase may just go on forever. I have to remind you that Sparkle is a masked fool? Do you plan on finding logic in the mind of a masked fool? That's exactly what I plan on doing. Even if it's just subjective, there must be an overall principle behind the behavior. Memories cannot lie. And hers may just understand more about her than she does her. Right now, let's follow her train of thought and head to the next puzzle. I hope this time we can get ahead of the Bloodhound family. I want to try and avoid using my Memo Keeper powers. So why are you so focused on Sparkle's challenge? Or should I ask? Are you more focused? Stun Sparkle herself? I told you. It's purely out of a spirit of competitiveness. And, as a memo keeper, I also have to fulfill my responsibilities and harvest some interesting memories. This place is a complete mess. And those two weirdos are prop. Oh, Detective Black Swan and Detective Sampo! You finally made. We don't know what we'd do without your help! Oh, 
Why are you talking like that? Is this some sort of artistic performance that young people are into these days? Is there something wrong with the way we are talking? Oh, of course not, Sheriff. Huh. The skit this time is... Um... Let's discuss this difficult case, then. The victim is a galactic business magnate named... Sir again? Sparkle really is obsessed with scripting her own. Oh, for the laughter. If you undercut me one more time, I swear I'm gonna... <clears throat> Miss Sparkle came to the fashion store to buy herself a brand new tie. She didn't come back out after a long time. The shopkeeper went in to see what was going on, but instead discovered Miss Sparkle's body. She had been strangled to death. There were three suspects on the scene. Namely, a Papashi shopkeeper named Wright, a Foxy and Gambler named Zhang Shan, and a wealthy Intellitron trader called Lefton. Our old friend. It's not just to aid your memory. With this sparkle is so great. Based on surveillance footage, witness testimony, and various pieces of evidence, the killer is ultimately a mob. You're too lazy to be a suspect. Oh, for the laughter! If I talk any more with you, it'll make my pure soul filthy! Detective Black Swan, the dossiers are over here. You can learn more about the suspects from me. I trust you'll be able to cut through the hogwash and find out who Miss Sparkle's killer is. Let me introduce the identities of these suspects to you. It's very straightforward. First of all is the shopkeeper, right? He's one of the Papashi people, and only stands as tall as Sparkle's waist, which is often a source of... Next up, you have the merchant, Lepton. He wants to join up with the Penaconi Trading Guild, and is in direct competition. Finally, there is the gambler, Zhang Shan. He lost a bet to Miss Sparkle, and he had to head... That's all the information we have. That won't be necessary. I remember it all. And there's the tie. That skit before said that the deceased was strangled. Is this tie some kind of joke? The tag on the tie reads, only for Imperial Master Lefton. That's not how you use the word. There's an accounting book lying on the ground. It must have been specially placed there by Spock. On the title page is written, Chen Katong. This Chen Katong person should be sparkled. So, it's just like the first case then. Only two pieces of evidence. Miss Sparkle doesn't want to distract your investigation. She doesn't want to distract our investigation? What a law-abiding citizen this Sparkle is. Why doesn't she surrender then? stool that seems quite normal the footprints which are half as big as standard must belong to a papashi per perhaps it's just that this person's drawing skills what's that smell why is there a smoke red mr. sampo take a look 
This is a wonderful smoked... Somebody save me from this cringe joke. Even among the fools I know, Miss Sparkle's sense of humor stands out from the rest. Have you dealt with many masked fools be... No, only a handful. After all, I prefer warm memories baked in sunshine. They're the ones that usually belong to kind people. Open it up and take a look. There's something engraved inside the ring. Zhang Shan Family Heirloom. That should be it. Let's head out. I have to thank you, Mr. Assistant Detective. But the puzzle this time is... Have you found out who the killer is? Just some shallow intuition. Anyway, let's report back to the sheriff. Pretty much. You live up to your reputation, Detective Black Swan. Uh, this guy. Then go ahead. Hmm. Then please hurry up. much you live up to your reputation uh then go ahead in my opinion there is no murderer for this case what do you mean by that <laughs> it doesn't looks like miss sparkle is more careful than i thought this tie is a piece of evidence right that's right! Miss Sparkle stole Lepton's tie to see if it would fit her. After Miss Sparkle affixed the tie... What a tragedy! If it weren't for your incisive detective work, the three suspects would all be facing grave and... Uh, is something wrong here? This is too easy. The first case wasn't hard, but this one... As you can imagine, the conclusions that the evidence points to are not mutually exclusive. Which means, this is probably another prank from Miss Sparkle. Mr. Assistant Detective, please feel free to point out a suspect as the murderer. Ah, oh, I see. Sheriff, the murderer is Lefton. The evidence is the tie. Correct, Detective Sampo. I never thought you'd be able to deduce the truth. Sheriff, the murderer is right. The evidence is the stool, right? Yes! For the laughter, how did I fail to realize this formidable and Then, right from the start, there was no murderer. The evidence is the ring. Whatever, I'm just spitballing here. I... Goodness me. Deputy Sheriff, is he really a... Oh. Look, Miss Sparkle has given us a puzzle where every single answer is correct. I take it so seriously. Miss Sparkle is a masked fool, not a masked genius. If it's a challenging puzzle you want, please go out there and turn right. And anyway, since our genius detective Black Swan has cracked the case, I will not... So that's it? This is just going to go on and on forever? 
We can't do that. Hmm. Then I wish you both the best. Oh, yes, if you're not in a hurry, I, I can tell you the answers for some of the outcomes you never chose. Just as you said, solving puzzles is all just a cover for something else. That girl is toying with us. What should we do now? Just keep getting led around by her? Truly, Miss Sparkle is a fascinating person. She seems chaotic inside, but easy enough to understand. Like a performer on the stage. Miss Black Swan, Mr. Sappho, you're finally here. I am the famed detective of panic. A murder in a locked room has left us all st As expected, another change in sex. Yesterday, my assistant and I were visiting the famed artist, Miss Sparkle, and we stayed the night. But this morning, Miss Sparkle didn't come out of her bedroom. The butler, Jean Chan, said that the door was locked from inside, so we ought not to have disturbed her. But Miss Sparkle had never slept in so late. And no matter how hard he knocked, there was no answer from him. As soon as I heard, I knew something must have happened. The room was covered in spattered blood. Miss Sparkle's body was alive. Thinking quickly, I grabbed the artist's canvas to staunch Miss Sparkle's blood. But besides us and Zhang Shan, the butler, left and the cook and right the driver were also at the scene of the presumably miss sparkle is now ca why don't you skip all this rigmarole and just have a heart to heart <sighs> wait up what hmm. honest kid i know where you are miss sparkle no, no cheating. cheating huh mr assistant detective you seem to be getting uh, uh no i i it's <laughs> this locked room murder case is pretty. Let's go. Can't keep a girl waiting. Hey, Miss Black Swan, wait, wait up, up, wait up. up. Miss Sparkle has one, one final message to now. ding a -ling. Now comes the most exciting and romantic moment in any drama. The audience challenge. Everyone knows that the mighty masked fool Sparkle can change her appearance to look like others. And in this drama, the villain Sparkle has disguised herself as another character. So then, I put to you, which character is it? Also, if you're interested in the locked room case that the memo keeper ignored, you can try out your powers of deduction. I put lots into coming up with a puzzle, so don't let it go to waste. Thus, the masked genius Miss Sparkle has thrown down the gauntlet. All the clues are in motion. Happy hunting! Miss, why didn't you just do this earlier? Such a crude approach violates my aesthetics of memory. But as a means to an end, I need to put this aside for a more indifferent process. There's no weird sweet dreams troop, nor is there evidence strewn all over the place. We finally caught up with her. Uh, but what's that thing? A Bella Boggian trash can? In Penacony? Hey! Dear Memo Keeper and Mr. Coldfeet, you made it. I didn't expect you to skip the final puzzle. That's on me. All right, all right. Miss Sparkle cares not for the faults of air. Listen up. What creature has four legs in the morning? No murder case. This Sometimes it's nice to take things easy. Seeing as you're right here in front of me, like... Womp womp. The correct answer is... Sparkle! When sleepy in the morning, she can't get out of bed. She runs about all afternoon in a fluster, so is exhausted by evening. But has to still raise a head. So naturally, she's got four legs in the morning, two legs in the morning. And three legs at night. What the heck was that jibber-jabber? What a cute answer. 
Thanks for the compliment, my dear. But you can't try to fool me. Humanity's creations! Eternal. Ill tidings manifest. Converge and awaken. Word cleansing dragon. <laughs> up with this guy he just huh no voices <sighs> wait don't move something's off uh uh this you you killed sparkle how is this possible how can people die inside Pettacone's dreamscape? In the Garden of Recollection. What did you... <sighs> you did this, didn't you? Killing people in their dreams. Oh, I understand. You refused to let me go because... There is no death inside Pettacone's dreamscape. That's the promise of the family and the blessing of the Harmony. Not even a memo keeper can break this barrier. There's no need to take such great pains. If you just want confirmation, I've already told you the answer, Miss Sparkle. M Miss Sparkle? Who are you talking? You. Sparkle has disguised herself as another character. Wouldn't that be you, Mr. Sampo? This? Don't jump to conclu- If you want to accuse me of being Sparkle, you have to provide the evidence. The hint for the final question was a little too obvious. Oh, you mean the locked room murder. All the painstaking effort that Miss Sparkle- The key to solving the puzzle lay in two pieces of information put forward by the detectives. Based on my shallow understanding, I can only draw two conclusions. One is that the murderer did not need to create a locked room case, but based on the detective's description, this locked room did not delay the discovery of the body. There was no third party at the crime scene to frame, and the blood everywhere didn't look like a fake. That being so, the murderer seems to have no reason for creating a- As for my second conclusion, it's even more obvious still. When everyone broke into the scene of the crime, why did the assistant rush off to staunch the blood? The answer is simple. It's because the assistant detective- At the time, I was in such a hurry that I didn't hear the whole mystery. I tentatively speculated that- And so, when he learned this piece of information, that's why he had to rush to the crime scene as soon as possible to confirm whether or not the victim left any ev- Of course, this is just a simple mind game. The answer to the puzzle isn't important, which means it's you, Mr. Sampo. I've been using this term of address, but it was you who first- Has anyone ever told you that you're more like a detective than a memo key? In my opinion, there is no difference between the two. Follow ripples along the surface of the water. Use some abilities and tricks to keep diving deeper, and touch that secret deep inside people's hearts. The truth does not lie. Neither do memories. Exquisite reasoning, and very close to the truth. But I have another answer. Would you like to- Another answer? The great artiste Sparkle locked herself away in her bedroom. Was not the murderer. What a pity. Such a pity. Miss Sparkle's body. Sparkle was disguised as Sparkle's body. Ding-a-ling. I won. 
Does Miss Sparkle's body even count as a real character? Why not? Miss Sparkle's body appeared in all three of those skits just... It's a little bit forced, but it's fine. So, who is this Mr. Sampo, then? Beautiful lady. I already confessed everything to you earlier on. I really didn't know a thing. I just helped a friend send a letter. That's... So I've been running a fool's errand this whole time. My dear, why so serious? Haven't you been having a great time? I have, at least. You take the memories, and I get joy. We get what we need from each other. Seeing as we're such kindred spirits, but also such loners. Why don't you come and work with me? Oh? Am I understanding this correctly? A show of unprecedented splendor is about to be staged in Panacone. If you're too late to take the stage, you can work behind the scene. If you want to appreciate this drama, you have to stand up under that spotlight as you take the stage and watch the dancing envelop you. Come with me. This is the best seat in the house. I don't really understand why you're so fixated on destroying family barriers. But, as I said before, a memo keeper can't help you. It's frankly above my pay grade. Also, I don't consider you a loner. Oh, I don't mean him, but rather behind you. The one who hired you to come to Panacone probably doesn't want you secretly linking up with other forces. How did you know? Memory is like the deep blue sea. But if you try to catch two fish with one cast... <laughs> so, you mean... Memo Keeper, did you think you could just... Why not? <laughs> My dear, I don't want to scare you. You'll know the answer sooner or later. We're just getting to know each other a little today. If you ever change your mind, come find me at the tavern. That is, if you can find me. <laughs> Let's go, Sam... Sampo? Sampo. Who is... Sampo? Uh, this is... This is... Bellabog, right? I said, why not? Hmm, <laughs> don't worry. Such a crude approach violates my aesthetics of memory. So once you leave my sight, you'll be able to remember everything again. And also, I'm sorry, my dear. My dream dance partner? I've already got sights on someone else. Nested structure. Being part of it. That's the end of Miss Black Swan's dream battle. Are you satisfied with your experience? I understand. The dreamscape is inherently different from everyone. So inevitably, there are some people who won't suit. But I also think Miss Black Swan must have her own reason for holding on to this dream problem. As an outsider, that is not my place to jump. Uh, I noticed that the people in your dream were familiar to you. It's worth repeating that dreams are just dreams. And in Penacone, dreams can be processed. Or even temporary. Things in our dreams cannot be trusted. Really? I 
wouldn't do anything to her. Don't worry about that, Memo Keeper. Let's talk about my thing. I've helped you out with everything you've asked as a girl. Shouldn't you give my mask back to me now? Since when did the masked fools suddenly start respecting agreements? <laughs> Just kidding. I loved seeing that look on your face. Take this key to the tavern cellar, third barrel on the left. You never saw me. But Sampo, after all this time, what made you suddenly want to take back your mask? This doesn't seem like the Sampo I know. Let me guess. A catastrophe is coming to your LO6. Am I right? Well, no comment about that. But I love that line you said. If you're too late to take the stage, you can work behind the scenes. That really makes sense. Sometimes even an old-timer like me feels like taking the stage and making a fool out of myself. If you're all out of options, please get in touch with me. I'm the kind of person who values friendship highly. Forget it. You'll be doing me a favor if you stay away from Bellabog. After all, the elation that Miss Sparkle seeks isn't something old Sempo can stand by. Go tell Giovanni I said hi. Fine, I'm just spitballing here. Don't take it so serious. Why so serious? Thank you. 